closer. Okay, sorry, thanks. This is one of my letters that I wrote to uh, my professor, David. Dear David, sometimes the parents of autistic children say things like, I didn't sign up for this. They're frustrated, they're tired, and most of all, they're in mourning. When they fell in love, they didn't imagine having a child like me. When they got pregnant, they didn't think they'd have an autistic kid. When their baby was born, they dreamed of all the things their baby would do. All of the places <laughs> their baby would go. And of the world they would conquer. Nothing would be impossible for their baby because that baby is there. When the diagnosis comes in, the idea dies. The baby they thought they had dies and they mourn. The list of great things they planned is cut short and instead they're caught staring straight at like a deer in the headlights at a wall after wall that they must climb. And they didn't sign on for it. Sometimes I sympathize. I can be hard work. I get scared and overwhelmed easy. I frustrate at the simplest things. People ooh and awe over my great memory for dog breeds or comic books, but I can barely organize my life. I miss appointments. I forget responsibilities. I once read a poem about, about a mom's thoughts on having a child with Down syndrome, about how it was like an unplanned trip to Holland, when really she was hoping for a vacation to Italy. They didn't sign on for it. Sometimes I sympathize, but sometimes it hurts because I was never their first choice. I was never Italy, and you must soothe yourself and settle for Holland. You have to work hard to find the beauty in my life and reconcile that it's not really that bad. You could love Holland too. You could love me too, even if you didn't sign on for it. Some people go further though, David. Some parents get so upset, so tired, so frustrated that they do the unthinkable. They kill their child. They call it mercy. They woo courtrooms with how hard it was and how tired they were and how frustrated and get off with lighter sentences and uh, manslaughter because they didn't sign on for it and society says I'm a burden. My needs are troublesome. The things I need are a bother to the people around me, to society, and I've apologized so many times for my shortcomings, for my interruptions, for the things that I need, and the word has lost all meaning. A mom threw, a uh, threw her child from a bridge. He was six years old. A mom poisoned her child in a hotel room. He was eight. Sometimes I feel badly because if they'd had services, if they'd had supports, if autism wasn't a demon, if I was stigma free, if they hadn't been alone, maybe they wouldn't have gotten so tired. But the sympathy only goes so far. Sooner or later it's replaced with rage. They didn't sign on for it. So what? So what's their right? What right do they have? Those were their children. They trusted their parents. And so what? The plane they got on wasn't marked Italy. It wasn't marked at all. You could have landed anywhere. You could have had a child with Down syndrome or cerebral palsy. Your child could have cancer, or maybe your child was born without complications. But sometime down the road, is in a horrible car accident and is left with brain damage or is paralyzed. I don't suppose you signed on for those things either. Their own parents, David. And even if none of those things happened, a birth is also a death. The baby you spent your time daydreaming about dies when the baby you have is born. Your child will do and go and be all kinds of things. Many of them you never dreamed of. They will never be the idea you had for them. They will be their own person, their own idea. I was never Holland or Italy. I am Elspeth. I was never your first choice, but I won't be your second. And you don't get a star for being a parent. There's no cookie for providing the necessities of life or loving your kids. Those are things that are expected. When you decided to keep the baby, when you chose to be a parent, you agreed. And if you find you can't provide for that person, then it's your responsibility to find somewhere safe for your child where they will be loved and cared for. That's what you signed on for.